everybody, it's Miss Sarah here at the Galax Public Library. I thought it would be a great idea amongst all the angst with the sickness and everything um, to do a online uh, live-ish uh, Facebook video of story time here. And I'm planning on doing two a week. So today we'll do St. Patrick's Day since it is St. Patrick's Day. On Thursday, I'll do one because it is the first day of spring. We'll be reading some spring stories. So I thought I would bring a little bit of story time to you guys since we can't do story time here. We'll still have fun. Okay, guys, let's stand up. And what are we going to do? We're going to tickle the clouds. So let's stand up and tickle the clouds. See if we can make rainbows happen. And tickle toes. What's next? We turn around and touch your nose. Can you crouch down like you're real low like a leprechaun? And reach up high. Story time is starting. Let's sit down and wave hi. Hello. So guys, like I said, we're going to be doing the St. Patrick's Day theme story time. So I did this last week, a couple of the stories from last week, but these are some great stories, so why not read them twice? So, anyways, the first book I'm going to read is Ten Lucky Leprechauns. Has anybody here ever seen a leprechaun before? I've seen a leprechaun before. I have one at my mom and dad's that my granny Betty crocheted for me. It's a wee little thing. Does anybody know where leprechauns are from? Hmm? They're from Ireland. And what color does, do leprechauns wear? They wear green. If you don't wear green, what happens? Do you get pinched? That's no fun. So be sure you're wearing green today, everybody. Just like our fellow leprechauns. How big is a leprechaun? Are leprechauns as big as this library? Are they huge? No, they're itty bitty little fellas and lasses. So, the first book I'm going to read are 10 Lucky Leprechauns. So, what is it that they have there? Is that gold? Is that a big pot of gold? Where do you see gold? At the end of a rainbow? Has anybody ever chased a rainbow? I've tried, it's hard try to find gold, but it is, it's difficult. So let's get started. The woods are full of leprechauns and treasures to uncover. Fiddle fizz, there's magic there is when leprechauns find each other. Can you show me the number one? One leprechaun. Here's a noisy wee elf who's playing a squawky kazoo. Do kazoos make a lot of noise? They go doo -doo -doo. fiddle de fizz, tis magic there is. It's leprechaun number, what's next? Two. Two leprechauns find a busy wee elf who's painting an orange spotted tree. Mm. Fiddle dee fizz, there's magic there is. It's leprechaun number, what number's next? Three. Three leprechauns spy a nimble wee elf who romps on the green forest floor. Fiddle dee fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number, what's the next number? Four. Four leprechauns see a silly wee elf who splats in a belly flop dive. Fiddle dee fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number, what's after four? Five. Can you show me the number five? Five leprechauns watch a jolly wee elf who's practicing juggling tricks. Does anybody here know how to juggle? I can try, but I'm not very good. Fiddle dee fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number six. Six 
leprechauns spot a speedy wee elf who zooms by, engines a revving. Can you rev your engines? Vroom, vroom! Fiddle fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number seven. Can you show me seven? Can you show me the number seven? Good job. Seven leprechauns glimpse a lively wee elf who's balancing on the old gate. Fiddle dee fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number, what's after seven, guys? Eight. Eight leprechauns view a frisky wee elf who's zipping through the trees on a vine like a monkey. Fiddle dee fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number nine. Can you show me the number nine? Show me nine. Very good. So nine leprechauns meet a clever wee elf who's hunting for treasure. And then, fiddle dee fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number, what's after nine? The big ten, ten. Ten leprechauns find a big pot of gold. Who loves gold? at the place where the bright rainbow ends. But fiddle dee fizz the true magic is. Finding 10 lucky leprechaun friends. Do you all have any really good friends? I've got some really good friends and they make me feel really lucky because we have a lot of good fun. So we're gonna do a finger play. So, we're gonna do five wee leprechauns. So, five wee leprechauns scurrying by my door. One jumped away. Can you show me the number one? And then there were, if you take one away, there's four. So four wee leprechauns climbing in the tree. One hid in the green leaves. And then there were how many? Three. Oh. Three wee leprechauns, just a busy few. One went for a pot of gold. And then there were, how many? Two. Two wee leprechauns having lots of fun. One hopped over the rainbow. And then there was, how many? One. One wee leprechaun with all his work done. He slipped off for a nap. Does anybody here like a nap? Miss Sarah does. Do you snore? And then there were how many? None. Zero. So we're going to read my favorite St. Patrick's Day book, The Night Before St. Patrick's Day, guys. I'm going to read this one in an Irish accent for it's St. Patrick's Day. And I love St. Patrick's Day. It's my favorite, y'all. So. We're going to see if we can find a little leprechaun on each page, okay? And see if we can find him. Some He's really good at hiding, though, so we'll try. All righty. It was the night before St. Patrick's, the day to wear what color? Green! Do you see the leprechaun? I see him peeking. Not a creature was stirring except Tim and Maureen. See the leprechaun? Do you see him right there? Yeah. They decked out the den from ceiling to floor with streamers and rainbows and shamrocks galore. Do you see the leprechaun? I do. He's really, really small. Itty bitty. Later they carefully made traps with gold charms and rings. I bet we catch a leprechaun. They love shiny things. For if they caught one, so the legend told, they'd find where he buried his big pot of gold. Do you see the leprechaun? Do you see him? I see him right there. Ooh. They set all the traps round the room with great care in hopes the wee Irishmen soon would be theirs. I don't see a leprechaun. He must be hiding. They're good at that. 
The children then nestled all snug in their beds while visions of golden coins danced in their heads. I don't think I see a leprechaun here either. Does anybody here dream of rainbows and pots of gold? I guess the doggie's dreaming about at the end of his rainbow with a nice, nice dog bone. Happy St. Patty said that. Early the next morning, then he started to play bagpipes without warning. Oh my goodness, I see that pesky little leprechaun again. Do you see him? Oh my goodness. He huffed. Can you huff? And puffed. An old Irish song. Mom dished out green eggs and sang loudly along. Does anybody here like green eggs? Mm, I do. Do you see the leprechaun? He's right there. When from their bedroom there arose such a clatter, the kids ran down the hallway to see what was the matter. And what to their wondering eyes should appear? It's the leprechaun. Mm. But, a terrible mess. A leprechaun was here. That pesky leprechaun. I don't think I see him, but that is a mess. Does anybody's room get that bad? Miss Sarah's does sometimes. Be quiet, whispered Maureen. He's hiding somewhere. When we find him, remember, we must hold his stare. For if you look away, if you so much as blink, the leprechauns vanish, quick as a wink. The kids trailed muddy footprints back and forth across the floor, which led them under Tim's bed and past the closet door. And then inside a trap, they heard someone giggling. How do you think a leprechaun giggles? <laughs> a real live leprechaun. They both saw him wriggling. Can you wriggle? Oh, is that the leprechaun? Oh my goodness, it is. His eyes, how they twinkled. His body so tiny. His hand clasped the trinket, so golden and shiny. He was dressed in all green, from his head to his toes. And he looked like a cobbler, wearing fairy-sized clothes. The children approached him, staring straight in his eyes. Tell us where the gold is. Don't be tricky, no lies. And what did that leprechaun say? I buried it under a rock, smooth and hard. It's marked with an X, right in your very own backyard. Hmm, what would you do? I would go out into the yard. Oh, but when the kids went outside with their shovel and pick, they instantly saw it had been a big trick. You see all those X's on all of those smooth hard rocks? That little pesky leprechaun. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Ha ha, I fooled you! It's time to disappear! Happy St. Patty's Day to you! And better luck next year! That little pesky leprechaun, you guys. I love that book, though. One of my Irish friends from college introduced me to that book. It's quite good. So, we're gonna do one more little song. And it's I'm a Little Leprechaun, which it's kind of like I'm a little teapot if y'all have ever done that. So, I'm a little leprechaun, watch me dance. Up go my feet and up go my hands. When I get excited, you will know. Faster and faster I will go. Very good. So everybody, be sure to wear green and have lots of fun and talk in an Irish accent. Love your Irish friends. And I will see you all on Thursday. So stay healthy and stay happy. Bye everybody.